हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ माध्यम आई एस माई नेम इज रवि त्रिपाठी आई एम करंट अफेयर फैकल्टी इन माध्यम आई एस ओके सो टूडे विल डिस्कस द इम्पॉर्टेंट न्यूज आर्टिकल्स इन डिफरेंट न्यूज पेपर पर्टिकुलरली हिंदू एंड इंडियन एक्सप्रेस ओके सो टूडे विल डिस्कस दिस टॉपिक्स इन डिटेल फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज रिलेटेड टू द चांस ऑफ पीस दिस विल गो टू द पेपर टू नॉट इन पेपर थ्री ओके सो इट इज करेक्टेड पेपर टू इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन As recently, I think most of you heard that Pakistan Premier had uh, said that that he want peaceful relation with India. He want to start again the international the trade relation with India, the international relation with India. Okay. So now this is important topic for your paper two. Working hand in hand to showcase is related to the promotion of tourism, and tourism promotion. Has its own implication on economic development. So it will go to the GS paper three of the economic development and GS paper one. Some heritage site has been connected by the different tourism schemes. G20 president is also promoting this. We'll see it later on. Now next related to Kane Betwa River Linking Project, a committee has been formed for this purpose and the committee has reviewed this project. So this will go to the GS paper one geography section. Okay. you can also link to the economic development gs paper 3 because it will promote economic development ultimately in the bundelkhand region okay now gm mustard 3 is but purely science gs paper 3 science and technology section and leopard tank battle tank gs paper 3 for defense security and gs paper 2 international relation okay so let's start topics one by one so first topic related to the chance for peace recently premier of pakistan has said that in in interview in ua that he want that pakistan has learned the lesson from last from three wars between india and pakistan and now they want the peace they want to start again the relationship between the india and pakistan a uh, peaceful healthy and friendly relationship okay even India completely, India Pakistan has completely stopped its international relation in 2019. Both countries has not their ambassador in another country since to 2019. After India has removed the special status for Kashmir, some kind of terror attack on Pulwama, another different kind of terror attack, and Pakistan's supported terror group was involved. in this terror attack so that india has completely alienated itself india has completely uh, ended the relationship with pakistan and pakistan also reciprocally reciprocally did the same and this ended the complete relation in 2019 okay but after the after this in pakistan now the situation of pakistan is different why pakistan premier is saying that we want the peaceful relation because pakistan is on the verge of economic crisis okay there are rampant inflation rampant corruption non availability of uh, very less foreign exchange reserve you can say even 5 billion dollar foreign exchange reserve available with pakistan and it is for only one week near about less than one week for their import so there are high inflation even you will found the sugar in pakistan more than for rupees more than 400 rupees per kg okay price of tea then basic things has also increased in pakistan the unemployment is rising in pakistan the situation is pakistan economic situation of pakistan is worst and it also got worst by the flood in pakistan in 2022 okay natural cause man made cause unstable government army these all led the situation of pakistan disastrous okay now this is the reason that pakistan is suffering what are the important reason as i told you high inflation is pakistan because of not promoting pakistan is becoming a kind of it's pretending then they are democracy but they are ultimately run by the military rule so army interference in the government is not good for any government the positionally you have seen that in myanmar army have taken over over the, over the democratic government in african countries most of the african countries so these countries 
are not peaceful when army interference when they are supporting terror funding most of the international institution do not uh, invest foreign direct investment is less in that countries also there is uh, uh, no uh, there is no promotion of manufacturing in the country because most of the people in the country are not demanding the different kind of development even the democratic country works according to the demand of people and if country is not democratic people are not demanding because they know that the army is ruling ultimately the government and if army is ruling the government there is no stable government in pakistan there are very there is very rare event when pakistan has completed pakistan's government has completed one five year tenure okay so the people of pakistan is suffering because of the uh, inability of the government to do uh, things terror terrorism in the pakistan has pakistan one once promoted terrorism started proxy war against india but now pakistan is suffering also from the terrorism okay it has also support supported the taliban government initially but now some groups in taliban tehreek-e taliban suppose is against the pakistan because they want the hard religious law to be implicable it's like they want to make islamic state but pakistan is somehow liberal in most of the things okay so these are the reason high inflation in pakistan very less foreign direct investment fdi is negligible almost you can say negligible fdi in pakistan fpi is limited in pakistan so this is decreasing the foreign exchange reserve of pakistan even the trading partner of pakistan also imposing the harsh measures import measure export measure with the trade of pakistan such as india even the destroyed distracted itself or removed itself from the uh, pakistan trade so this has re, uh, result in the reserve uh, decline in the reserve of the foreign exchange so ultimately it is defaulting the most of the debt in coming time you in coming uh, months you will see that Pakistan is defaulting in most of the debt. Even unstable government is major reason that why most of the countries, most of the foreign nations, most of the foreign companies is not investing in Pakistan because of the risk of terror. There is no stable government, non-democratic government because military interference. Okay, and this year natural disaster such as flood in Pakistan caused a lot of disaster and terror threat are becoming the major concern. So that Pakistan is suffering right now because when the they have supported even Taliban initially, but now they are under the threat also. So these situations make the pa Pakistan's economy very weak, and now Pakistan's economy very weak, and they have limited resources. So they have moved to different country. They have moved to different countries such as they ask help from the arabian countries they are saudi arabia uae they ask help from the china they uh, ask help from the imf imf is ready to help to pakistan so that they will not there will not be collapse of the economy in pakistan okay and most of the countries also supported that yes they will help the pakistan but if even if saudi arabia is helping if ua is providing fund to pakistan if china is providing fund to pakistan this will ultimately come in the form of the loan not in the form of the grant so pakistan have to pay this loan later on uh, but if pakistan will not change its policies to our terrorism its policies if army's interference is if army continues its interference in the diplomatic government uh, sorry uh, democratic government if even pakistan will not promote the peace peace in nation pakistan will not build its international relationship with its neighbor then it will not bring any relax any relief for the pakistan in coming days okay you will see even after the relief even after the fund from these countries pakistan will completely become a dead debt laden nation okay now why india has India and Pakistan has broken their relationship because of terrorism, hostility or violence promoted by the Pakistan. Even Pakistan in proxy war with India and they, they are supporting the 
terror, terror group. So terror groups are most of the terror groups are working in the POK region, Pak occupied Kashmir region, supported by Pakistan army. Okay, so this is the uh, reason that if the, you are promoting terrorism, you are sending terrorism, you are killing my innocent people. Uh, how can we allow you? How can allow our country to trade with your country? Okay, this was the major reason India has taken a step that they will not have any kind of relationship with Pakistan. Okay, now Kashmir is to become the forefront. Even India, Kashmir is the part of India. India has removed special status of Kashmir in 2019, and this angered Pakistan. Okay, and Pakistan has said that it will not have Pakistan will not have their ambassador in India and it will not promote their Indian ambassador in Pakistan. And this ultimately ended the complete relation. Most of the time, Pakistan involved in ceasefire ceasefire violations. Okay, there are different kind of attack by Pakistan army in uh, the border areas. So these are the main reason why India and Pakistan are in the hostility. They are not friend friendly nations but india ultimately want india's ultimate thinking is that they are the, the india should have the peaceful nation because if you have the peaceful and prosperous neighbor then it ultimately help you okay if for any country so by this statement pakistan has taken a step but their diplomats they are other leader in Pakistan opposing their demand. They said that if Pakistan will not, if India will not take in, uh, revert back its step on the Jammu and Kashmir, they will not uh, make any friendly relation with Pakistan, develop any friendly relation with Pakistan. But now, what if Pakistan takes a step? Pakistan curb the terrorism. Pakistan do not promote terror groups to run in their territories to so that the proxy war they they end the proxy war with india they want to develop the peaceful relation with india then india is also always in the mood to develop friendly relationship and better trade with pakistan because it will not only benefit the pakistan but it also benefit to the india india has lot of uh, trading relation with pakistan in uh, in previous year and this is ultimately this will ultimately boost the economy of both the nation, boost the culture of both the nation, boost the friendly relationship and it will make the strong position of India in South Asia. Okay, as India is leading the South Asian nation. Okay, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, uh, Sri Lanka, Maldives, if these nations are strong, if your neighbors are strong then you are in stronger condition if you are you want to become a global leader so india now who, who, uh, going to preside over the sco shanghai cooperation organization g20 this year so india may invite pakistan for this because pakistan is also member of the sco shanghai cooperative organization and if india will invite pakistan then pakistan should I take this invitation seriously for the development of the better India and Pakistan relationship in future. Okay. So, this will not only help India, uh, help Pakistan, but also in, in India, it will enhance regional stability. And regional stability enhancement will promote kind of FDI, FPI, for investment, boost the tourism also. And they can also learn lot of lesson from the nations. The peaceful Pakistan will have the uh, peaceful and prosperous economy okay so this is it for this uh, article this article talks about the pakistan what friend relation the situation in the pakistan why pakistan's economy is deteriorating the reason behind it why india has hostility india why india is not have any kind of do not have any kind of trade relation with pakistan and what are the road ahead means if pakistan takes a step pakistan remove the terror terrorism from their uh, uh, territory, remove the hostility from India, remove the violence, promote the FDI, economy, friendly relation of India, participate international forums with India, India invite, if, if India invite, India can invite Pakistan at STO and Pakistan must attend this STO so that their relationship, their bond will become stronger in future. Okay, now next article related to working hand in hand to showcase India. This article is written by G. Krishna Reddy, Union Minister of Tourism, Culture, and Dora. Okay. In this article, even today, uh, 25th January, we are celebrating the National Tourism Day. 
this we have started in 1948 you can say when tourism committee was formed in india to promote tourism in india okay tourism committee was formed in india okay so theme has not been released uh, for this day theme has not been released till morning but yes when they were released i will let you know all about so nation, on national tourism there is article this article mentioning that interministerial cooperation interministerial cooperation is improving or boosting the tourism in india okay this is the crux of the to, uh, the article that india is promoting not tourism by ministry of tourism alone but also boosting the tourism by interministerial uh, cooperation and indian government is very serious at inter to at international to lead the international forum so that their tourism will promote will get promoted in future okay now this article said that today india will start the jagannath yatra train package ministry of tourism and ministry of railway these two ministries are launching this project you should remember this fact for your prelims examination that jagannath yatra train package has been launched by ministry of railway and ministry of tourism jointly okay this will run a train train package between the delhi badrinath dham jagannath puri bhubaneswar and konark and end at the vishnu par temple in gaya okay so you should remember these places the jagannath yatra place will start from delhi and end at the vishnu par temple in gaya bihar okay bhubaneswar and konark i think you all know is located in the odisha jagannath puri odisha badrinath dham jharkhand okay kashi uttar pradesh so if you want to remember these places also remember the state states the uh, uh, covered by the jagannath yatra package okay for your prelims examination so this initiative taken under the bharat gaurav train bharat gaurav train initiative started by the government of india to promote the theme based tourism okay theme based tourism bharat gaurav train started in november 2021 okay so this initiative was that so that the theme based tourism can be connected by the uh, railways so it will provide the smooth travel at the uh, location of the tourism destination different tourism destination okay this bharat gaurav yatra was started in november 2021 by public private partnership okay irctc ctc plus private player will run the train for dedicated tourism tourist places dedicated tourist circle okay such as buddha circuit ramayan circuit okay all these circuit they have they should have the dedicated train for the tourism so that it will it will promote tourism it will promote the tourist to visit the place smoothly and it will pro promote the tourism in india okay so this article said that government's different ministries cooperation in the tourism is boosting and has the lot of potential to boost india's tourism sector he also mentioned some kind of initiative such as ministry of tourism has privatized in last few year interministerial cooperation and coordination okay ministry of tourism and ministry of home affairs in october 2022 these two ministries organized the national conference of tourism police national conference of tourist police this was this conference was held in delhi and speaker of lok sabha addressed this conference remember this fact for your prelims examination that this conference was held in delhi by the ministry of tourism and ministry of home affairs they both organized the national conference of tourism held in delhi and addressed by the speaker of lok sabha okay so this national conference of tourist police will promote the specific tourist tourist specific policing soft policing 
पीपल फ्रेंडली पुलिसिंग सो दैट टूरिस्ट विल गेट सम काइंड ऑफ बेनिफिट फ्रॉम द पुलिस द सिक्योरिटी ऑफ द टूरिस्ट द सेफ्टी ऑफ द टूरिस्ट मे बी सिक्योर्ड ओके एंड अनदर इनिशिएटिव हैज बीन टेकन बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टूरिज्म टू स्टैब्लिश यू आर टूरिज्म क्लब इट विल नर्चर द यंग एम्बेसिडर ऑफ इंडियन टूरिज्म ओके तो दिस टूरिस्ट जिस इनिशिएटिव वॉज टू प्रमोट प्रमोट द यंगस्टर so that they become ambassador they promote the tourism and heritage sites of india okay this initiative taken by the ministry of education and tourism ministry another initiative the ministry of external affairs tourism office has been placed tourism officer has been placed in 20 indian mission in countries means ministry of external affairs also placing different kind of officer had different uh, division of officer and they has also placed some tourism officer to promote the the tourism in different countries so these are the inter ministerial conference uh, the cooperation which are promoting the tourism ministry of roadway and petroleum ministry taken a step that highways and fuel station has been clean sanitized information uh, in infrastructure so that clean sanitized infrastructure will promote tourism highway highway ministry is also working for this ministry of petroleum is also working to promote tourism so different ministries of of uh, india are cooperating so that tourism get boost in india because tourism is the very large industry it has potential to bring lot of capital in india it has potential to develop employment in india it has potential to develop atm to promote atm bharat mission because most of the tourist the, uh, most of the tourism come with the employment development of the particular tourist destination and it will create sub linkage with this okay foreign currency you can say foreign fund will come to india foreign tourism will promote will be promoted in uh, at the global level so that government has taken many step government is promoting tourism in different ways okay here you can say government has draft new tourist policy 2022 tourism policy which will not only promote tourism of india but also have different kind of initiative which are tourism friendly not only promoting the travel but since travel information stay it in this you can say all services must be in uh, in clean sanitize and at cheap price so that and and the safety and security be secured at the place so that tourism tourist will get lot of benefit from the government initiative so government initiative by subsidizing tourism industry by providing benefit to the tourist ultimately boosting the indian economy boosting the tourism sector uh, tourism sector okay so institutional structure government want the participation of all three levels means union government state government and local government because without partnership without coordination of these three government different step of the government federal in the federal structure the promotion of tourism the safety and security of the tourist the uh, availability the available infrastructure of tourist the available services of tourist may not be secure properly so government is promoting developing under this policy government is trying to develop some institutional infrastructure which will promote the cooperation among the different government okay now g20 presidency government of india has taken the g20 presidency from indonesia 2023 government is the president of g20 g20 is the major group of 19 countries and one group known as the european union most of the developed countries delegates will participate most of the developing country delegate will participate in the g20 and india has organized these meetings such a way so that different heritage site of india cultural site of india got promotion because when delegates will visit india they will india has planned that they should visit to the different heritage places different religious places these cultural places of india so it will boost the indian tourism and these delegates will ultimately become will become the the uh, ambassador tourism ambassador for india because when they will see the cleanliness of the site the services at the site tourist site the security and safety of the site they will promote this in their country to their friends to their neighbors so it will ultimately they will become the brand ambassador of the tourism sector of india 
तो इंडिया हैज प्लान सच अ वे दैट जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी कंट्रीज इलेवन स्पेशल इन्विटीज इंडिया हैज सेलेक्टेड फिफ्टी लोकेशन ऑफ दिस जी ट्वेंटी सो दैट दिस फिफ्टी लोकेशन विल ऑल्सो बी बिकम द सेंटर हब फॉर द टूरिज्म प्रमोशन फॉर इंडिया एंड नियर अबाउट लोकेशन विल ऑल्सो गॉट प्रमोशन Suppose India has also selected the Kashmir location, Delhi location, Kolkata location. So different location in India, different states in India will uh, will be promoted. So the tourism will be promoted. It will ultimately promote the tourism sector in India. Apart from this, government is very serious about the tourism promotion. It shows that in May 2022, Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Copenhagen, Denmark, and urged the Indian diaspora. to inspire at least five or their non indian friend means he has raised appeal to indian diaspora means the person of people of indian origin to uh, to uh, convince their friends who are non indian non indian origin uh, person so they can become the brand ambassador for tourism in india if they are uh, they uh, inform their friends non Personal of Indian Indian origin friend, they may be promoted to visit India for different kind of tourism. So, it ultimately boosts tourism in India. Okay, visit Ministry of Tourism declared visit India year 2023 because of G20 presidency, SCO presidency, and other initiative India has taken. So, India is promoting Ministry of Tourism is promoting this initiative so that we have declared the year 2023 as the visit india year for tourism sector okay so even india from for, for histor hist historical time have different travelers in india such as fahing wing sang different uh, tra uh, travelers from different country the ultimately uh, it be india became the spiritual destination because india has the origin india is the origin place of different religions such as hinduism buddhism Jainism, Sikhism. These four religion originated from India. So ultimately, these religious people will also visit India for their spiritual need. The foreigners who visit India also say that India, religious places, India's uh, heritage places also have this, some spiritual value. Value, and they can get the peace in India at different location. So spiritual and self discovery met the mean of the human also ultimate ultimately uh, promotes foreigner to visit india for peace okay so this all can be promoted by the indian tourism indian to in, uh, indian government is working profoundly in this direction okay now you should remember all these facts for a prelims examination national tourism day we will celebrate on 25th of january remember this okay started in 1948 and ministry of tourism is responsible for this this ministry was formed in 1967 okay next fact is related to national conference of tourist police this was organized as i told you earlier by ministry of tourism ministry of home affair and bureau of police research and development these three organization organized this conference at delhi okay now bharat Goro scheme, as I told you earlier, November 2021 it was started. First train flagged off from the Coimbatore. This is located in Tamil Nadu. Okay, the scheme-based tourist circuit train, private player and IRCT will both participate in this. And the railway ministry is the uh, launching ministry. Railway ministry is the launching ministry for this project. Okay, so you should remember all these facts for your present exam. Now come to the next topic. What is the Kain Betwa River Link project? Okay, river link linking is the need of time. Most of the time, you heard even since 1960s, you can say 70s, we are hearing, uh, we are hearing the development of linking of rivers. It will because you all know that Indian uh, agriculture based on the monsoon. Okay. we do not have the proper irrigation structure there are some areas in india which have water deficit which are water deficit region some areas are water surplus region okay water surplus region suffered some kind of the flood from the river 
okay water deficit regions drought from there so by linking rivers the river have excess water can provide the water to the river which have deficit water this is the purpose of linking the river and by this the irrigation structure will get boost in india the water security will get boost in india and also the employment opportunity will get boost in india and regional development will also get boost in india okay so this ken betwa link project this is the first interlinking project of india announced this approved in december 2021 with the outlay of 44605 crore why in news because of the most of the people pil has been filed in supreme court and steering committee is reviewing reviewing the this project by different mean that this project is fulfilling its purpose or not okay so here you should know about this project the interlinking of river benefit of the project okay this project ken betwa link project is ultimately providing the water to the water deficit region of bundelkhand bundelkhand region is located on the border of mp and up this region is water deficit region even drinking water is not available in this region easily okay irrigation is mostly ground water irrigation available in the region but this region is water deficit so that agriculture in this region is suffering water security due to water security social security in this region is suffering so that the development in this develop this region is not developed no industries in the bundelkhand region because of this this uh, because of lack of the development in the region so that by promoting the region bundel by providing water to the bundelkhand region will boost the agriculture sector in the region will provide the water security in the region it will also promote the generation of electricity hydroelectric project the food processing units should be established in bundelkhand region and the people in the region will get the employment opportunity at the place so this is the ultimate region why this project has been started this project is transferring the water from the kane to betwa these two rivers ken river and betwa river both are the tributary of yamuna originated in madhya pradesh okay these both rivers are the tributary of yamuna have origin in madhya pradesh these two rivers surplus water from the ken to be transferred to the betwa by a canal okay so that we have to build a dam on the ken river to transfer the excess water and this dam is known as the daudhan dam being built in madhya pradesh panna tiger reserve okay so this dam being built on the kane river madhya pradesh panna tiger reserve you should remember the name of this dam this dam a canal will go from this dam dam and will connect the will connect the betwa river so that the excess water from this river could be transferred to, the, to that river and this is creating a concern because this dam is located in the tiger reserve what is the protected site and it is dangerous for the environment and this question has been raised by the most of the uh, uh, person social work animal welfare environment uh, person working in the environment field so environment protection and that in panna river even there are report that there are no tiger left in panna river but if we made this dam it will submerge the near about region under water okay so it can create and also hydroelectric project to be developed in the region because of this this dam will also provide electricity to the nearby region this is the development initiative but ultimately it will damage the environment in the tiger reserve so environment protection group are opposing this but ultimately they are also saying that even if we are providing water from ken to betwa that ken is the non perennial river means they do not have water all the season in some season they also had some kind of deficit water how a deficit river can provide water to a deficit river it will not become feasible this project will fail in future this has been said by different 
group. So the committee recommended that no, we have well planned structure. It will provide most benefit to the Bundelkhand region. Okay, the project will provide annual irrigation of 10.6 lakh hectare, and this is the big number, major number you can say. It will provide the lot of irrigation facility. It will boost product agriculture production in the region so that ultimately lead to the employment not in agriculture sector but also it will develop uh, a different kind of industry in the region okay so this project is being implemented by ministry of jal sakti it will control the fed flood in the region suppose kane sometime has the flood in the region it will control the flood because by uh, transferring the excess water to the betwa river it will control the drought in the region such as the Bundelkhand region will get water and it will secure the drinking water supply to population of near about 62 lakh people. Okay, so this is the big number. So it will some secure the drinking water supply, huge employment opportunities and infrastructure development because with the develop with the reach with the water reach, the region will get uh, region will uh, receive water. It will boost development in the region. Ultimately, industry and employment will be provided in the different region. Irrigation benefit, annual irrigation 10.6 lakh uh, hectare I have earlier told you. It will improve socio-economic condition to people in the backward region. Okay, because ultimate development will run and socio-economic uh, condition will get boost. It will also generate hydroelectric power. So, this, these are the benefit of the project. But what are the issues? As I told you earlier, environmental concern because they, there some be legal challenge because of a dam being constructed in the Tiger Reserve. Okay, and cane water may not have sufficient water, cane river, and water sharing issue may in uh, suppose if there are one party rule in the both the government, then they may not come in an issue any issue but in future if the government are run by the different different parties then there may be a issue of the water sharing between the countries sorry between the states okay so it may also become concern in future but this river linking project should run properly and can boost the lot of development in india can provide the lot of development not can boost only agriculture sector but also water security it can also it will also secure the welfare measure of india it will also secure the industrial development it will also open the employment avenues for different sectors okay so these these initiatives has been taken are very good initiative and this first first the in river linking project was mooted by a british engineer chief engineer of madras presidency in 1919 named sir arthur cotton but after independent when in 1969 then ministry of state of energy irrigation kl rao said that we should uh, link the river ganga to with river kaveri okay and this got boost in 1980 by approval of national perspective plan national perspective plan were the plan to link river so that excess water the region of excess water the region of deficit water will get the water from the excess region okay and this plan uh, implemented by the indira gandhi government by uh, national water development by developing water development agency but this implementation not got successful because no action has been taken and the first project got approval in 2021 december 2021 this but this was the plan national perspective plan was to develop or connect the 30 rivers in india 16 rivers and 14 rivers 16 peninsula peninsula river and 14 himalayan river to be connected under this plan national perspective plan but this plan implementation failed not taken uh, not came into action till 2021 when first river linking plan under this was initiated by the implement implementation started by this present government okay these are the rivers 16 peninsula rivers and 14 himalaya rivers to be connected so that this is the map proposed under the national prospective plan so that it will boost the lot of development in different region of india okay it also controls the disaster. So, you will link this topic with the disaster management also. Now, next, article related to the GM mustard. 
most of the ngos some people some environment concerned ngos has filed pil different pils in supreme court that gm mustard can damage environment dm gm mustard can have negative impact on the human health gm mustard is not good for india so why this concern has been raised and supreme court now recently asked the government government has filed some response and supreme court asked that that what if there are future risk if there are any future risk linked to this mustard then what we will will do in future what will we do in future okay this is the issue raised by the supreme court government said that we do not have any issue with the gm mustard so what are the gm mustard what is the purpose of this why people are removing this uh, resisting the implementation of gm mustard actually gm mustard gm is known as the genetically modified mustard is the variety of mustard no, modified variety of mustard gm means genetically modification means if we modify some, some something in the genetic structure of the organism any crop or individual to achieve some kind of uh, some kind of result okay some defined purpose to achieve for some defined purpose suppose if we want that a crop must get more productivity a crop must be uh, sown in different agricultural areas a crop must be uh, pest resistance so we can modify the genetic structure we can take genetic uh, ge uh, some genetic modification in the uh, organism it will change the outcome of the crop so this happened in the mustard variety what happened the genetic modification has been made in the mustard it is known as the dhara mustard hybrid 11 so that it will boost productivity and also it can make mustard variety more to herbicide tolerant okay so this is what and this variety of gm mustard known as the dmh 11 dhara mustard 11 has got the commercial use approval from the genetic engineering appraisal committee okay so this raised the concern for some people okay here the definition food produced from your gps organism are referred as the gm food genetic material change altering or some kind of defined purpose okay so first of you for prelims point of view should know this is developed by the scientist of delhi university known as the deepak penta okay this variety first of all you should know that mustard flower mustard flower is the perfect flower okay what is the mean of the perfect flower a perfect flower is the type of flower which have both male and female organs within itself stigma and stellar okay so male and female reproductive organs are in a single flower known as the perfect flower they do not need pollination by the because pollination most of the so cross breeding is not possible in the in um, perfect flower because a flower have both male and female part and if do not have then what happened the pollen grains goes to another part in perfect flower and who have the uh, female reproductive system and this develop a new variety or fruits okay so uh, there is there is some difficulty in developing a new variety when it has a per, it is a perfect flower okay so scientists had developed this by crossing the indian variety of varuna and east european variety of early hera too so this has been developed by these two varieties scientists has taken some genes from the soil bacterium three genes has been taken one known as the barnes second known as the bar star and third is the bar okay these three genes has been taken from a soil bacterium soil bacterium will do something uh, will these genes will use from this soil bacterium known as the amylo liquefacing what these genes what the purpose of these genes these this genes known as the barnes will make the mustard male sterile because for the 
क्रॉस फर्टिलाइजेशन देर शुड नॉट बी बोथ रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन इन अम प्लांट इफ वी वॉन्ट टू फर्टाइल क्रॉस विथ वन क्रॉस हाइब्रिडाइजेशन विथ डिफरेंट प्लांट ओके सपोज वी हैव टेकन द अर्ली हीरा वराइटी ऑफ यूरोप एंड द वरुणा वराइटी ऑफ इंडिया वी मस्ट हैव टू स्टेराइल द मेल मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑफ फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑफ वन प्लांट सो वॉट दिस सर्व द पर्पज बारनेस विल मेक द मेल स्टेराइल एंड दिस हैज बीन इम्प्लांटेड इन द इंडियन वराइटी सो इंडियन वराइटीज मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम हैज बीन स्टेराइल बाई दिस बारनेस जीन सो दैट ईस्ट यूरोपियन मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम कैन क्रॉस विद दिस मेल इंडियन फीमेल फ्लार सो इट विल डेवलप द न्यू काइंड ऑफ द मस्टर्ड वराइटी ओके सो दिस थ्री जीन्स बार बारनेस मेकिंग मस्टर्ड स्टेराइल बार स्टार एंड बार बार्स विल मेक द प्लांट हर्बिसाइड टॉलरेंट एंड बार स्टार सपोज इफ बोथ फ्लावर्स हैज बीन क्रॉस हाइब्रिडाइज बाय इंडियन यूरोपियन वराइटी वी हैव मेल स्टेराइल इन दिस प्लांट इट मे ऑल्सो कम इन द ऑफ स्प्रिंग एज अ रिजल्ट दैट ऑफ स्प्रिंग मेल मेल पार्ट मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम मे बी स्टेराइल्ड ओके सो विल नॉट गेट द प्रॉपर रिजल्ट सो वॉट हैपन दिस बार स्टार विल restored male fertility in the offspring okay so these three genes have been taken so that genetic modif modification of the mustard variety becomes possible why what are the purpose of this modification this will benefit because according to the studies it will reduce it will increase the productivity of india okay it will increase increase the productivity of mustard in india suppose if we have the some 1000 kg per hectare uh, production it will boost the production 30% so it will increase the uh, it, it will show the increase in the income of farmers okay and ultimately the farmers income will boost the production of uh, mustard in india production of the uh, oil oil uh, edible oil seeds in india because india mostly depends for edible oil on import you can say 60% near about its import from the other nations the edible oil it's import from the other nation so by providing the mustard variety by mustard food uh, with better productivity the farmer will get will get promoted and this will ultimately boost the uh, decrease the india's import burden and boost the edible oil production in india so it will reduce also reduce the farmer's cost because it can also this seed of this hybrid variety can also be used for future so they have they can use even for their crop seed for uh, sowing of sowing sowing in the another season okay so it will boost income of the farmer and reduce the cost another form of the cost reduction is that it will uh, if the plant is herbicide tolerant herbicide tolerant means uh, herbicides uh, generally remove the unwanted weeds from the crops okay but herbicides are non selective in nature they may not identify the crop and the weed and they can also damage the crop but when we use the selective uh, we use the variety which are herbicide tolerant means the herbicide will not have negative impact on the crop and only ultimate remove the weeds government is saying that we are not using the herbicide tolerant variety but ultimately Uh, till today it has been declared that this is herbicide tolerant also okay so it will also reduce the farmers cost because they not do not have to use manual labor for the uh, weed remo for weed uh, to remove weeds okay what are the challenges concern are this that genetically modified mustard do not know first is that its impact on human is are not known health impact some studies showing that it may be carcinogenic but most of the studies by the european countries you uh, uh, western countries showing that this this variety do not have any health, negative health impact on human being but they can also have impact on honey production in india because most of the honey comes from the uh, mustard variety so that if honey bees got uh, some kind of negative impact by this hybrid variety over their system it will impact negatively impact the honey production in india it may also develop super weed means the pollen of this flower mustard hybrid mustard flower may fuse or cross hybridization may occur with the weeds 
and this ultimately make the weed also the herbicide tolerant and this weed will become the may become the super weed this may also have the ne negative impact on the other crops in the area by because by pollinization the flowers poll pollen may reach to the other crops also and they can also have negative impact on the other crops they can also have negative impact on the uh, environment you can say also so it is also by cross pollination it can damage the environment and impact of human are not known so these are the some concern raised by the uh, some social active uh, activist group in supreme court and supreme court has asked the government government has filed a reply that no we have permitted and this is not going to damage any kind of by the studies they are proving that it do not have any negative impact on human it do not have negative impact of human health and also on environment and other crops but supreme court is asking if in future for long time you cannot uh, it has potential it even if modified mm -hmm. genetic structure can ultimately make some kind of mutation in also in human it can also make some kind of the human concern in the 10 or 20 year if if after 10 or 20 year we see the damage by the we can we witness the damage by this uh, product dmh11 then what government will do government is need to find its response file its response okay so this is it but for prelim point of view you should know that india this dmh11 if approved will become the first pudding gm crop in india india do not have did not allow any uh, did not allow any fooding crop in india till today even gm this committee has allowed but not particularly at commercial but for only exam uh, ex examination and this uh, has not been allowed by or ticked by the environment ministry but india is ultimately using the gm crop such as gm cotton GM cotton is the GM crop in India sown since 2006, you can say. And now 90% of India's cotton is the GM cotton. So we are using GM crops, but not the edible GM crops. Okay. You should remember this fact that BT cotton is the pest resistant variety of the cotton. So nothing more than it you should read in this. BT brinjal is also edible crop. But India do not allow, India had not allowed, India has only BT cotton, Bacillus thuringiensis cotton. So that uh, it, it is pest resistant variety. BT brinjal is also pest resistant variety, insect resistant variety. But India has not approved uh, it for cultivation. Even India's neighbor Bangladesh has approved its cultivation in 2014. And recently in 2022, Philippines also has approved the commercial cultivation of the BT brinjal but India in India no food GM food crop has been approved for commercial cultivation if uh, the DMH 11 will become the first crop for commercial cultivation okay now next uh, news related to the some kind of tax even all of you know that Ukraine and Russia are in the war condition okay so recently poland or western countries you know the supporting the ukraine and they are providing arms ammunition fund to the ukraine to fight against the russia recently poland said that we will supply some tanks known as the leopard tanks leopard 2 tanks to the ukraine in the war against russia but as these tanks Poland has taken from the Germany. Germany has manufactured this tank. So they are said that if Germany will provide us permission, then only will support uh, send this tank to the in the support of Ukraine. These tanks are very powerful. So if Ukraine will get this tank, it will boost not only boost the Ukraine's defense, but also some kind of demoralize the Russian army. Because of this, you should know about some basic picture of leopard 2 leopard 2 is the german manufactured male battle tank speed uh, range 500 kilometer it can hit the 500 kilometer okay and its speed is the 68 kilometer per hour it is the good speed even arjun battle tank in india can hit the i think 420 kilometer 
so this is the best tank you can say one of the best tank available in the global market for the battle okay so this is leading battle tank of the german army you should remember manufactured by germany came into service in 1979 and top speed is 68 km per hour it also used by canada and indonesia and this battle tank have some kind of advanced feature such as they have night vision equipment they have some kind of laser finder equipment they are running on the diesel engine so you should remember these facts for the prelims examination so that i have included this but in mains if you find the answer such as the defense equipment supplied by the western countries ukraine to fight against russia uh, or related to it we'll discuss in later on in any other article okay so these are the two question interministerial air cooperation has the potential to boost tourism in india explain 250 word right answer in 250 word and second is the approval of the commercial cultivation of edible gm crops in india it has also its implication elucidate 250 word write this try to attempt write this answer and send this answer to the telegram group link provided in the description okay okay thank you for watching today's lecture thank you